And then you got the purchase orders. Now the purchase orders would only be in place if you're in a system where you have inventory and you're able to basically request inventory without actually paying for uh, the inventory. So it's a request kind of form to your vendors before you, before you enter the bill or the, the check form or expense form for the inventory. So use purchase orders. So if you don't use them, you could turn them off and then you won't have that added kind of item. It'll be a little bit less uh, clutter possibly. Go to the, to the list. You can customize the field to manage. So if you wanted another line item in the invoice form that, that, that you can sort by, you can add that. Custom transaction numbers lets you use your own number. I'll keep it uh, where it is by the default. And then the default message, you can add a message on the person purchase order here by default and test that out if you want as well. So I'm gonna save that. 